that's part of another project that's called the Pandemic Dreams Archive. And it has nothing to do with any institutions. We're not supported by any institutions at all. So I'm not quite sure why we're in this panel, but here we are, in case any institutions want to collaborate, we're super open. Maybe that's why we're here. And um, well, this is a project that was made by four artists that have been working, uh, artists and research and computer programmers that have been working with dreams for a long time. And we like to say that we are a band. Um, so, I am Livia. I worked with Carnival for many years. I'm from Brazil, from Rio. I also work with children and uh, with trees and um, cultural values and management. Uh, Fabia, the other one over there, she is a schizoanalyst and uh, she does this bridge between art and clinic. And she also works with the National Institute of Space, Space Research. So she also works with space, art, and culture. And this is Rafael. I'm Rafael. Uh, I'm a visual artist and researcher. And I will speak in Spanish because my English is not very good. And Livia will translate me in real time. So. Uh, uh, Bueno, solo para terminar de presentar, tenemos Tiago, que es programador y antropólogo y trabaja con, con activismo digital desde mucho y somos nosotros cuatro que estamos ahí con el proyecto. Yeah, so Tiago comes from an anthropology background, but he's an amazing programmer. He also works with a lot of digital activism and digital culture and data visualization. So that's our band. Play the video. Play the video, yeah. Sí, primero que solo hablar un poco de, de la abordaje que tenemos en la, en la relación con, entre los sueños, el gesto de soñar y las tecnologías. Nosotros venimos de un fondo común, de una experiencia común en Brasil uh, con una red de producción llamada Tecno Shamanismo, que se dedicaba a, a estar, uh, producir encuentros de intercambios de tecnologías libres con los pueblos originarios en Brasil. So a little bit of where this project comes from and where do we stand? Uh, we come from a group that's called Techno Shamanism. It's not actually a group, it's a network. And uh, we also work with many indigenous First Natives populations in Brazil. So our concept of dreaming comes a lot more from those thoughts, Amerindian thoughts and the Cosmo techniques than from, for example, the psychoanalysis and uh, from Jung and from the symbols. We're going more through these other sí. fields. Sí, no, eso, para esos pueblos, los sueños es una técnica que se trabaja a lo largo de la vida y si, como, uh, es una técnica sobre todo de encuentro con el otro, ¿no? Es una técnica de alteridad uh, que se desarrolla a lo largo de la vida, entonces partimos de, desde ahí para pensar en los sueños, ¿no? Yeah, because we're talking about dreams as technology here, and for these, for indigenous first native people, dreams are a technology, and it's a technology that you develop throughout life. It's something that will get its uploads, it will get its um, updates and you will it will you you will be used also to to communicate with the other so we come we look at the dream world um, through this Amerindian technology of alterity and uh, we're here talking about the dreaming of otherness humans and non-human agency y el proyecto solo un comentario que parte mucho de una provocación de, de David Copenau a Yonomami es un famoso chamo brasileño que dice que el, el hombre blanco duerme mucho, sueña mucho, pero sueña solo consigo mismo, ¿no? Yeah, David Kopenawa, which is a main reference for us, he says the, the white man dreams, um, sleeps a lot, dreams a lot, but only dreams about themselves. So from that point of view, we started our tracks for our research. Yeah, and there you go. Oh, the computer is here. Oh. Uh-huh, it's okay. There you go. No? Go? Yeah. So, the first thing that we did was an open call. So once we had this line already, the, the strategy and the point of view that we wanted to work from, we made an open call online uh, in the first few months of the pandemic, like in the first month. And uh, each one of us is unconscious also. And um, also from another character in Brazil that's called Macunaíma. I don't know if you have the opportunity to read through Brazilian literature. It's like a really, really important character for us. Um, so she remixes. She remixes these dreams. All the words and the, all, the, all the sentences that she creates, they 
all come from the dreams that we fed from the Pandemic Dreams archive, but they're all her own authorship. And what she does is to take away this uh, person that is in the center of the dream, the personal dream, she takes it away and she puts the other agencies to dialogue between themselves. Places, agencies, living, non-living, death, animalism. You can see all that in a dialogue within Makuna's um, dreams. And it's, she's a bot. And she's on Telegram, so if you want to ask her for a dream, you can say, hey, give me a dream. We have 101 people that are playing with her constantly and improving her. We are also always calibrating her, her, her ways, her personality. Yes, yes. Entonces, solo decir que el proyecto del Pandemic Dreams Archive es un proyecto abierto a colaboración. Tenemos muchas colaboraciones uh, transdisciplinares y es un proyecto open source y, y que está ahora como se construyendo to, todo un plan de, una, de un Big Data, de, de los sueños del mismo periodo, que son los tres primeros meses básicamente de pandemia, donde la fractura en la imaginación viral ha ocurrido y tal. Yeah, so it's, um, it, when I saw the other projects going on here, like, wow, we definitely don't have all these logos, all these partnerships, it's just, just us, but it is an open project and that arose uh, the curiosity of many, many people and we had institutions and artists and groups and researchers coming up to us and saying, hey, can we use your archive? And we're always super up for it and we collaborated with a few artistic projects as well. So the idea is that this can be a project that's open and trans cross interdisciplinary and we can be sharing our knowledge and creating together. Uh, one yeah. of the things that, the one of our first uh, productions um, was uh, to participate in this book. That's a really amazing book. It's actually my favorite editor, uh, publishing um, group in Brazil. It's called Any Man with Zoom. And uh, so we wrote the article that's being published by ICIA. was also published in Portuguese in this book. And um, oh, yeah, un otro proyecto uh, que salió de, del archivo es un proyecto llamado Animal Soñado, que es una especie de un estudio, un, un ensayo teórico y visual sobre los encuentros con las entidades no humanas en el conjunto de sueños. Y es un proyecto que investiga un poco la ecología política del onírico. So, Animal Soñado, The Dreamt Animal, it investigates the political ecology uh, within the dreams. Um, so we talked about all these non-human agencies and how they relate and the power um, relationships and how they appear and dialogue with other human and non-human beings within the dreams. And this is a, a project that we collaborated with in Bogotá. It's called, uh, it's a Mostra Internacional Documental de Bogotá. So it's an expanded cinema um, uh, Mostra, an ext extended f cinema festival. It was online because it was during the pandemic and their whole theme was dreams. So we had many, many groups that had been working with dreams, artists, scientists, researchers that were, had dreams as a, their main um, theme, thematic. And uh, well, we participated in that. And there was one of the artists Oh yeah, we participated in other symposiums in Greg Festival that was here in Barcelona. We also participated in the International Cosmopolitical. Uh, the other one was a performance. I was invited to do a performance for uh, a project that was in Switzerland. So I decided to work with the Dreams for this performance. And there were three curators. They invited 21 artists and we squatted a sex platform called YesCam. So the idea was to bring other agencies, other uh, movements, uh, other ideas into sex platforms. So that was the Camille's Blue Dreams. Uh, the N8 performance was with the, um, this mostra that I said in Colombia. And what Esteban Ray, that's an artist that participated and collaborated with us as well did was he asked people to send images and then the artificial intelligence would map all the elements in those uh, images and then give them a dream that had to do with their images. So images and dream data archive connected. And oh, I think there was another one that passed, no, no. but that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you have anything to say, a dream to share, an idea of how this project can go on and get deeper and spread around the cosmos, uh, you're welcome to share with us. Thank you. And we'll just stay here, right? And the other ones will come. <laughs>